You know, there's a... In the second uh, Boris Karloff Frankenstein movie, some of you are saying, where is this going? <laughs> the second Boris Karloff Frankenstein movie was called Bride of Frankenstein. There's a pretty famous uh, scene in that second movie where the monster, who still can't speak, he's growling, you know, Rrr. you know, he's, uh, on, he's running away through the woods, and in the middle of the forest, he finds this cottage of an old blind man. The man's blind, and he's, uh, as the monster's coming in, <laughs> the blind man is on his knees praying to God, saying, oh God, please give me a friend to be of some comfort to me in my terrible loneliness. And then in comes the monster. Now the monster, he, the blind man can't see him, not afraid. But he can sense the man can't, the, the monster can't speak. And he says, oh, you have an affliction, you can't speak, I have an affliction, I can't see, we can be friends. So the blind man begins to be so friendly. This is something the monster, the Frankenstein monster has never experienced. He feeds him, he takes care of him, he sings to him. And, and you can see under the, the power of the friendship, which the monster has never experienced, he starts to humanize. He starts to say things like food and good. But then, of course, some soldiers who are out there trying to find the monster, they look into the cottage, they see the monster, they attack the cottage, the cottage is burned down to the ground, and all you see at the end of the scene is the monster <laughs> groping off into the woods, out of the fire and the, and the smoke, just saying, friend, 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 where's my friend? It's almost like the Frankenstein monster. It reminds me of me, because until I found Jesus Christ, I felt like I was sort of stitched together by what everybody else said about me. You know, my parents said one thing about me, and my, you know, my friends said another thing about me, and everybody had a different thing, they, a verdict they, they gave me about who I was. So my self-image looked like a Frankenstein monster. Uh, what I needed, what you need, is a friend, the ultimate friend, whose love can overturn all the other verdicts and make you human. We're all out there like him. Every human being is out there looking for the friend. Friend, friend, if I could just find the ultimate friend, then I could finally be the human being that I'm meant to be. Well, here he is.